Hello my loves, how are you? I don't know if you can tell, but one of my eye is swollen <laughs> compared to the other one. I don't know what happened. I just woke up like that. So let's just try to ignore it, okay? So today's video is a video that I did for my friend's channel. I'll link the channel below and we're having a conversation about mental health and um, any advice that you'd give someone who's going through any kind of mental health problems and i thought since mental health is such an important topic i might also share the video on my own channel so that's what today's video is about i had already shot it in advance so i just kind of wanted to explain what the video was about um, before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up share with your family and friends let's get into the video Bruh, girl shit. <laughs> Bruh, girl, shit. Hi guys, my name is Jambi and I'm here to talk about my mental health and any advice that I'd give someone. So, I'm going to start by saying that I'm definitely in a better place now than I was probably a couple of years ago. I think the best thing is to learn how to pull yourself out of the pit. That's, that's the best thing, that's the best advice that i'd ever give because it's something that has really worked for me so all this to acknowledge your feeling like i acknowledge them and i'm like okay um you've been feeling low because of this and that or maybe you've been feeling low and you don't even know what's going on like it's fine you've been like this for three days you haven't left the house you have been just you've just been in bad moods you're just feeling sad okay um you've had your time what are we going to do to get out of this pit and that's just kind of like where my healing usually begins i just have a conversation with myself and i'm like okay you have not left this bed for like a whole week don't you think it's time to leave this bed and this room it's time for you to go somewhere it's time for you to take a walk it's time for you to keep your mind busy that's also another thing I realized that the, you know that saying for an idle mind is the devil's workshop. I realized that when I'm not occupied, I just tend to think a lot of bad thoughts, <laughs> dare I say, or just depressive thoughts. And I just start picking and pointing out what's wrong with my life. And a lot of it is just attributed to the fact that I'm not currently doing anything. And, but also it's like a, <laughs> what can I call it? A seesaw. This is a very bad analogy but what i'm trying to say is that as much as keeping your mind occupied can help you to stay away from bad thoughts keeping your mind occupied and ignoring the problem is also just building up like the first thing i do is just go outside i know that it seems like such a simple solution and such a solution that cannot even help you in any kind of way but i have realized that sometimes the problem is being indoors for too long especially for me like i really i'm an indoor person 24 7 like i'm always indoors but sometimes it's it can get a little depressing to be indoors so i'm like okay fine i need you to get up get out of this bed clean your room because my room is usually a testament of whatever is going on in my brain if my brain is like disorganized so is my room i'm like okay fine you need to get up you need to clean your room and you need to get out of this house i need you to go for a walk i know you don't feel like going for a walk but i need you to get out of this bed sometimes these big problems have such easy solutions such easy solutions and i'm not saying that going on a walk or keeping your mind occupied will automatically solve all of your problems it will not it's not going to magically solve all of your problems but it is a step towards feeling better realize also that these things is just taking it one step at a time just one step at a time one day at a time i'm like okay today i was feeling down but i'm going to go on a walk and i'm just going to be i'm going to go on a walk and i'm going to clean this room and honestly i usually feel so much better when i go for a walk and i clean my room maybe i need to pick up a book that i was reading i'm like okay fine that's that's great that's what we're going to do and that's what we're going to do today and that's going to make me feel good today okay what about tomorrow just do the same thing I get out of the house i feel better i go where people are sometimes being with people can be overwhelming but also being with people can 
really 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 just boost your moods so i'm like okay i'll go where people are because sitting here by myself is just making things work yeah in conclusion i would say man, keep my mind occupied just keep your mind occupied man i i, I can't even emphasize that one enough you need to have your mind occupied because when you're not when your mind is not occupied it just kind of just runs and just starts telling you all the problems all the things that are wrong with your life number two is addressing and acknowledging your feelings like sometimes you don't even need a reason to be low <laughs> you are just low and that's okay that's okay it's just it's life go out for a walk i think people underestimate the power of a walk just go out for a walk go um if you like music play your favorite playlist and just go out for a walk i guarantee you feel better just go for a walk and just just think and analyze and um or maybe don't even think and analyze just play your favorite playlist and just go for a walk i would share one final thing with anyone who's going through any kind of mental health problem is to remember that it always gets better might not seem like that in the moment but it will get better you just need to take it one day at a time and just take steps each and every single day to make yourself feel better so yeah that's it